invested in the stock market and I lost my money. And I was going to use the money I put in the stock market to send my kid to college and nobody's going back and making me whole. The two differences, ladies and gentlemen. If you had wanted to rely on a normal private investment vehicle, you could have done that. You made the decision to travel through PAC because you believe the state of Alabama would do a more honorable and better job than the private sector. Amen. You made that choice. And this notion that somehow the state of Alabama ought to be held to a lesser standard, the last time I checked, the state's promise ought to mean more. There's the second thing I want to say. You hone right in on it. I'm going to repeat what I said at the beginning. Anybody running for governor of this state who refuses to say that PAC is a legal obligation, you cannot count on them to stand there for you when the time gets tough. All right? Now, let me tell you why. If you say it's only a moral obligation, you know another word for moral obligation? Campaign promise. <laughs> All right. Is there anybody in this room who believes that a campaign promise matters more than a legal contract? Is there anybody who, if your child's future, your grandchild's future depended on it, would rather take a chance on a campaign promise than a legal contract? Yeah. Let the record reflect that the certifiably sane are together this room. <laughs> so, you know, again, I don't want you to take this as a technicality again, because as I've heard, you know, some people say it's only technicality. Third and final point. We have got to make the point, ladies and gentlemen, and you're, again, you're 100% laser correct about this. The time to fix this is now. We're running for governor, so, so we can, if Greg can do something about this now, Representative Bentley is serving, so he can help, but those of us running for governor, by and large, can't do anything other than raise our lungs about this now. But don't you buy into this idea that I saw in some newspaper the other day. Some newspaper the other day said, this problem won't get fixed now. We're going to have to count the next governor and next legislature to fix it. Ladies and gentlemen, if we wait another six months to fix this, remember in the legislative world, waiting six months is waiting a year. Because they go out in June, and trust me, if they got to pick between campaigning and fixing this problem, they're going to be campaigning. So it's not just six months, it's a year. <laughs> if we lose another year, it will cost us even more money to fix this. The value of your hard-earned investment and contribution will be undermined even more. We've got to fix this now. I'm going to slip in about the PAC board, because I should have made this point in my initial comments. What the PAC board did is wrong. Wrong. They didn't do the a They did it between Christmas and New Year. <laughs> <laughs> and they did it at 8 a.m. on a Tuesday morning when people were coming back from Christmas vacations and planning the New Year's Eve stuff. And y'all know why they did that. They hope you wouldn't catch it. They knew it was wrong. They knew it was wrong. Anything that you know is right, you don't have to bury. It's right. You don't have to it's bury right. what's right and what's true. Uh, the gospel isn't buried any place. All right. So, again, so many of you have made these points. The challenge in convincing all of you is you're continuing to be a moral force. Don't let politicians and candidates for governor run from saying this is a legal commitment.